This tutorial will introduce you to American Fact Finder, a user-friendly way to find data and information from the United States Census and Surveys. To get to American Fact Finder, you can go to factfinder.census.gov or you can just Google American Fact Finder. There are a few different ways to search American Fact Finder. Today we'll talk about a location-based search and a guided search. Let's start with a location-based search. You can enter a state, county, city, town, or zip code into the primary search box on this page. Let's enter the East Bay City of Vallejo, California, and then click Go. On the left side of the page, you see the different types of information available, population, age, business and industry, education, etc. So right now we're looking at population information. In the center of the page, you're presented with popular tables on population for this geographical region. Note the different categories. You have information from the 2010 census and the 2015 American Community Survey. The 2010 census is the most recent decennial census. The decennial census is a nationwide census conducted every 10 years that collects basic information about people and housing. This data is reported at the national, state, county, and city level, as well as by school district, congressional district, census tract, or even block group. The American Community Survey, also known as ACS, is a nationwide survey. The ACS collects data that is similar to the 2010 decennial census, but also includes information such as income, education, poverty, household size and composition, health insurance, disability, mortgages, housing costs, commute time to work, home value, veteran status, and more. And finally, you have the Census Bureau's Population Estimates Program and the 2000 census, currently the second most recent decennial census data. Again, right now we're looking at the population category. Let's get a general idea of population demographics in this community by clicking on Demographic and Housing Estimates under the 2015 American Community Survey. As you can see, this table provides you with baseline information on sex, age, and race. If we go back and click on poverty, we see the popular tables about poverty in Vallejo, California. If we click on children characteristics, we can find the percentage of children living in households below the federal poverty line or at or above the federal poverty line. So to sum up, searching by geographic region is helpful when the information you need is included in these popular tables. If you have a very specific information need or you just don't see what you're looking for, the guided search option is a good choice. I'm gonna go back to the main page. Let's say you wanna find information on health insurance, specifically how many people in a specific region are employed and have public health insurance versus how many people are employed and have private health insurance. Let's run through that scenario using guided search. So from the American Fact Finder main page, you can click on guided search and get me started. And then first you'll want to choose the type of information you're looking for. I'm looking for information about people as the default and that is in fact the one that we want. So we're just going to go ahead and click next. Now I'm going to expand the insurance coverage selection and select health insurance. And now we need our other indicator, which is employment. So I'm going to go ahead and expand the employment section and select employment labor force status. So now we have our two kind of indicators or variables that we're looking for. And we're going to click next to define our geographical region. So you could either use the drop down menu here, or you could enter a state, county, city, town, or zip code into the search field. Let's go ahead 
and enter Vallejo, California. And we'll click go. It's going to ask us to confirm that we do in fact want Vallejo City and we can say next. So next we have race or ethnic groups. If you wanted to add a race or ethnic group to your table, you could either select from basic groups or select from detailed groups. We're going to go ahead and skip this step. And now we're presented with what are essentially our search results, the tables that match the indicators we selected. I'm going to go ahead and click on health insurance coverage status and type by employment. So up at the top, we have total population and then the total number of people who are employed, followed by employed with health insurance at all, and then with private health insurance and with public health insurance. So here is the information we, are lo we were looking for. If you want to modify your table or add or remove a geography, you can do so using these buttons at the top. You can also get a permanent stable URL that you can bookmark and it will take you back to this table. You can also print this table and download this table either as a spreadsheet or in table form. Thank you for watching this brief overview of the American Fact Finder site.